You want to work faster, smarter, and more efficient in Unreal Engine 5? Then stick around for these must-know tips, tricks, hacks, and facts. Today I'll show you 30 shortcuts and tricks that will speed up your blueprint editing, level design, and workflow. My name is Taken Grace, and if you're like me, an aspiring game dev who wants to learn as much as they can, then consider joining the Realm by subscribing and joining the TG Realm Discord, where we have like-minded, resourceful, and positive game devs that can help you get better. I'll break these shortcuts into two different areas of Unreal, Blueprint Editor, and Level Editor. These shortcuts are for all levels of experience, and make sure you let me know in the comments down below how many you didn't know. I bet there's at least one in here you don't know. First off, you can use Control Space to open the Content Browser and not have an extra Content Browser window open. You can also use Control P to search for an asset in the Content Browser. After dragging something in, you can push F to zoom to the object to frame it. But all these little icons are exactly in my way and it's driving me insane. Uh, all right, I could just push G to hide them. Cool. Why is it so dark? Well, well, while holding Control L, you can change the directional light rotation to always be daytime. It's like cheating, legally. Now to move stuff around, you can constantly go back and forth between translate, rotation, and scale, or you can just use the spacebar to cycle through them as well as W, E, and R. You can group actors together with Control G, and you can attach actors to other actors by right-clicking, going to attach actors, and then using the eyedropper tool to select the actor. You can select all actors in the level with the same class, material, or type by selecting an actor, going to select, and selecting whichever option you want. Moving around the world is super annoying. The camera is so slow, but rolling up to the camera speed every time is super annoying. Luckily for me, I click and hold either mouse button to use the scroll wheel, and then I can change the camera speed at will. Well, it's finally time to play in the editor, but we're in full screen mode from pressing F11, so there's no play button. Ah, showtime! With Alt P, you can play an editor without leaving full screen. While playing in the editor, pressing F8 will allow you to pilot the camera to look around, and when you're back in your player, pressing the semicolon will display your debug info. If you have a blueprint selected, press Ctrl E to open up that blueprint in the editor. And you can also left mouse click that subscribe button if you're learning something from this video and want to continue to level up your game dev skills. All right, in the blueprint editor now, first let's start off with the quick nodes. Simply hold the letter and left click to get these ones. B creates a branch. You can also click and drag out of a Boolean, press B and it will create a branch with the wire attached. In 5.6 and later, you can get a Boolean variable, right click and convert to branch to skip the branch node entirely. S creates a sequence, D a delay, O do once, F for for each, and I mean, I'm sure you guys all know this one by now, but pushing C creates a comment. Here's a concept some of you might have. You want to allow a code to execute only three times before stopping it, so you may think that you need to create an integer called number of times, set that to three, add a branch, check if it's not equal to zero, and then get the number of times, subtract by one, and then set it out of the true branch. While this will technically work, there's a node that can do all this. Hold N and left click to get the do N node. Now we can delete this branch, this minus node, and use this do N node which allows the execution until the integer is zero. In our last example, we subtracted that integer by one and then set it, but there's actually a node for that too. Both integers and floats, you can get a plus plus or minus minus node, which does either add or subtract by one and sets it as the new amount. Binding to event dispatchers is a regular part of making a game in UE5, but nobody really wants the mess of the event delegate wire. So instead you can drag out of the red delegate, go to event dispatcher, create event, then create a custom event somewhere in the same blueprint rename it, and now you can select this newly made event in the create event node, and now you don't have a bunch of mum's spaghetti. If you're like me and hate blueprint spaghetti, then let me direct you to the alignment option in the editor. With multiple nodes selected, it gives you a number of options to line up your nodes and organize them for you. Pushing F2 renames, and this works not only anywhere in Unreal Engine, but on your computer too. F7 compiles the blueprint, F9 adds or removes a breakpoint on a blueprint node, Control, Shift, and F9 removes all breakpoints. Home zooms into the selected node, do you have a button in a widget that you just set up the parameters for the default, but are annoyed and dreading doing it at least two more times for hovered and pressed? No need to stress. Just hold shift and click the right mouse button to copy and shift and left click to paste over the button areas. Then just change the tint. This works in the detail panel for parameters, variables, and whole categories. What are you gonna do with all this time saved? Well, who am I kidding? You're gonna be in the fab store looking for assets you can't afford. I wanna procedurally generate dungeons. How about now? Back in the Blueprint Editor, we have a set text node where we can input whatever we want. Use a format text node. And with the power of these little squiggly brackets, you can create variables to plug in and convert to text. And finally, the best shortcut in the Blueprint Editor. You need to delete nodes all the time, it happens. But instead of deleting it and reconnecting the execution pins, press Shift Delete, and it will automatically connect the pins. I know, that one was awesome. 
Why don't you try some of these shortcuts out by watching my last video on procedural generation right there. Or maybe this one is a bit more for you. Special thanks to my Royal Coffee members. If you do want to become a member to support what I do, get access to videos early, access to my vault of assets, and more, check out my coffee page in the description below. Like and subscribe if you made it to the end and want to level up in the realm and keep learning until you game over. Peace.